Good evening and welcome to this evening's guided meditation with Doro. As usual, we'll ask that everyone please mute their microphones. And um, and Doro, can we get started? Sure. Um, I, I find myself, as I'm sure many of you all have, um, in a in sort of a this constant state of anxiety. And so, I came across this anxiety meditation uh, that I wanted to share with you tonight um, because when we're anxious we're usually caught up in fearful or worried thinking about what might happen. Learning to work skillfully with our thoughts, observing them without identifying with or believing in them, and opening fully to the bodily sensations and emotions associated with anxious thoughts is essential to finding lasting relief and release from anxiety. Um, mindfulness is key to working with anxiety and stress and worry because we can bring awareness to the energy of anxiety, stress, or worry. We can allow ourselves to experience the feelings and make a ch choice of whether we act on them. Without awareness, anxious feelings or stressful feelings will often lead us into acting in habitual ways. For example, if you feel anxious, you may go to the fridge for something sweet. That's something I would do. Uh, something that will help you just to feel better. With awareness, however, you might still choose to do that, but you also now have the choice to just stay with your feelings. A good question to ask yourself is, what would I have to experience if I were not to act out this habit? Your response would likely be to feel that unpleasant energy of anxiety or worry. Um, in this meditation that we're going to do tonight, we'll work with the energies of anxiety and stress to lay the basis for more healthy and beneficial responses to these urges. So um, let's begin by sitting with our feet flat on the floor, or um, if you're more comfortable, lie down. Um, but sit in a way that you can breathe fully and deeply, but still be comfortable. Um, you can rest your hands gently on your lap and you can um, close your eyes. We'll begin the meditation with the ring of the chime and we'll um, end the meditation with the ring of the chime. So as we begin this meditation, um, Begin to sit in a way that's relaxed and take some moments to adjust your posture on your seat um, just to make sure you're comfortable. Feel your body in contact with the surface beneath you. Begin to allow yourself to experience whatever is present right now. Whatever bodily feelings, mood, emotions, mind states, and thoughts are present. You might take a few deeper breaths to invite the body and the mind to relax and settle. Take a nice, full, deep in-breath relaxing, releasing, and letting go on the out breath. Breathing in and fill the chest and the lungs with the in breath, release and let go on the out breath.
as you breathe in, you might invite in a quality of calm. You could repeat the word calm silently to yourself as you breathe in, and then again as you breathe out. Breathe in, calm the body. Breathe out, calm the mind. Just breathing in and breathing out. When you're ready, let the breath settle into its natural rhythm, allowing it to be just as it is, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. You might invite a smile to the corners of your eyes and the corners of your mouth. A smile sends a message to our brain and to our nervous system that we're safe and don't have to be hyper vigilant. Smiling invites us to relax and to be at ease. While sitting in a way that is relaxed and alert, you might bring to your mind a situation that is a source of anxiety or stress for you. It might be a work situation, family, health, finances, or it might be a combination of factors. Allow yourself to take in all the feelings, sensations, and emotions, and the overall sense of this situation in the body and in the mind. Choose not to follow scenarios in your mind about what might happen or things that might go badly and simply observe your thoughts and let them go. Be open to whatever bodily sensations are present with kindness and acceptance. There might be contraction, heat, tightness, tingling, or pulsing. Whatever is present, Say yes to what you're feeling. Be open to these feelings and let them come and go.
bring a kind awareness to whatever emotions are present and allow yourself to feel them fully. They might be fear, worry, anxiety, or sadness to name a few. Let these feelings be as big as they want to be and say yes to all that you're feeling. Let your awareness and kind attention hold whatever is present, whatever is arising for you in the body, heart, and mind. Bring interest to the changing flow of experience, letting everything stay for a period of time and then pass on their own time. Meet it all with kindness, acceptance, and interest. If anxious thoughts arise like, this will never go away, or I'll never be able to do everything I have to do, meet these thoughts with kindness and care. Without identifying with them or treating them as true, let the thoughts come and go. Continue to open to your experience in this way, meeting your experience with kindness and care. If it's challenging, acknowledge that it's difficult. You could put a hand on your heart and wish yourself well if this is helpful. Think to yourself, may I be happy and may I live with ease. Take a nice, deep, full in-breath, letting go on the out-breath. Hold your experience with kindness and with care. Bring awareness to any emotion that may be present, perhaps underneath the feelings. Maybe there's fear that the sadness, grief, or worry will continue. See if you can say yes to the emotion. Meet your emotions with kindness and care, and notice how they too shift and change if you can open to them.
if a sensation or an emotion gives rise to an urge or an, Im or an impulse to do something negative, like eat something unhealthy, take a drink or take a drug, see if you can stay with that energy. See that this too comes and stays for a while and then passes. If it's helpful, you could imagine it as like a wave coming along. Maybe there's a strong energy and the wave crests. But if you stay with it, with awareness and with kindness, perhaps those feelings pass for a while and then there's calm. See if you can ride the waves of difficult energy and difficult experience as challenging emotions or bodily feelings. Notice how they stay for a while and then pass. Much of the challenge with these difficult energies is the belief in our mind that they're not going away or that they can last forever, that this pain or difficult emotion is going to keep go on going. That's the illusion in the mind. But if we bring awareness and really focus in on the feeling or the emotion, we see that it's really a changing flow of energy and sensations stay for a while and then pass. Be open to the thoughts or narratives that come up in your mind. They might be, this is too much or, I need to do something to deal with this pain or difficult feeling. And invite yourself to stay with the direct experience. If the pain, discomfort, difficult emotion, or difficult feeling seems like it's too intense, see if you can bring your awareness to another part of your experience. Perhaps an area of your body that feels more neutral, such as your hands or your feet, or something in your life that you're happy about, are grateful for. You can let your awareness rest on a more pleasant or neutral experience for a time. And then when you feel ready, let your attention move back to the bodily feelings and be open again to your experience, riding whatever waves arise. Stay as close to your direct experience as you can and bring a kind awareness to the thoughts and stories that surround the pain, stress, or difficult emotion.
choose not to identify with the thoughts, but just acknowledge them as thoughts. Let them come and go in their own time with kindness. Sit quietly for a couple of minutes and be open to the changing flow of experience, recognizing how mindfulness can help us open up and untangle ourselves from painful thoughts, stress, worry, anxiety, and the patterns of behavior that tend to go with those feelings, emotions, and mental states. As we end this meditation, let's continue to work together with the energies of anxiety and stress to forge healthier and more beneficial responses um, when, when we encounter anxiety and stress. Thank you and have a good evening. Thank you for joining us. And we hope this meditation brings you peace and calm during this turbulent time.